Hi, Maria here, and today I'm working on this painting of a tiered mountain view with animals. Very colourful little painting. Uh, so welcome to my artist Maria Burke channel, where every week I'm bringing you tips and ideas, inspiration, any techniques that I've picked up over the years on painting. Um, I'm using oils, I'm using acrylic, sometimes I work on canvas, other times I work on paper, various different projects and uh, sometimes I'm using different styles and techniques as well and different products. So this painting is acrylic uh, paint on canvas and I'm working with, it's a, a smallish canvas and I'm working with the white background. I haven't put any ground down or and often I will use um, I, I paint the entire canvas a different colour and work on that. But at the moment, I am just really focusing on really keeping it loose, keeping it fresh and making it very, very simple and letting a lot of light into these paintings. So I'm using the canvas just as it is. And so here, this is, it's a mountain scene. There as you saw from the initial picture that I showed, the finished picture that I showed you at the beginning, there were two little bullocks in it. Uh, so I paint them in at the very, very end. But at the moment I'm working on, um, there's a clump of trees on your left-hand side, a large clump, and they rise from that middle ground right up to almost the top of the painting. And here, I'm putting in the background mountain. Uh, it's quite blue there in the background. And there's a line of forestry just under, that's what I'm filling in now, those, that line across under the blue mountain of trees. Then under that there's like a rough hill with heather and stones and it's quite browny, earthy coloured. Uh, purpley shades in that and then at the bottom there's a field and then right in the foreground you've got some bushes and heathers and other details rushes it, it's it's a mountain scene it's a place that I uh, I've gone to and visited recently a place I'm very fond of and it's a mountain farm and there's so much it's quite marshy in places then there's some lovely fields in other places so there's so much to see up there I just love it uh, it's in West Cork about an hour from where I live so I just need to apologize here for the light that is there's light coming in from a skylight on my right hand side and just for a few moments I was going to edit this out but it's it doesn't last very long where it's that wet paint it's probably good that you see how wet the paint is. It's actually showing this wetness. And I've sprayed it there even to wet it down. I've sprayed it just simply with water so I can keep spreading that paint without putting more paint. I'm kind of using watercolor techniques here in a way to spread that paint around. So it is putting a shine, the wet uh, water, putting the wet paint mixed with water on the canvas is leaving a shine but it's not going to last there very long and as you can see it's just dripping down and that kind of gives nice effects as well so yeah here just very quickly i'm filling in the entire canvas uh, i like that just at the beginning my aim is to get rid of all the white and just work into it and get my first layer of paint down and after that once you have everything laid down you can start making more decisions so here I'm putting in some foreground details and really I'm keeping three corners of this painting quite dark so more or less the left hand side and the bottom two corners it kind of gives uh, a vignette kind of style picture where the corners are darker and that leads your eye into the brighter areas more at the top of this painting and the lower middle and here just adding details into that that purpley kind of landscape um, 
the trees and putting the darks down in a purple of that forestry up on top. And afterwards I'll come in with more greens to make them, you know, bring, bring out the colour of the trees. But purple is quite a good colour to put in shadows with. It's an interesting colour. It's a dark colour rather than using black. I don't like using a lot of black. Sometimes I use it if I want to colour, cover a lot of ground. Actually, if you do use black, there is a, a colour called Payne's Grey. It's very popular with artists. It's actually a black, but it's got colour in it. So if you mix it with white, it doesn't come out as a muddy black. It's got some bluey kind of just different shades. It's it's bluey purpley. It's not a dead black. Um, and that's why it's called Payne's Grey. It's almost black. But yeah, I'm I'm tending not to use even that. I'm using purples and other very, very dark blues mixed with uh, deep browns to get my darkest shades on the painting. Really the only black you'll ever get is when you turn the lights out and block your windows and where you cannot see anything. So in a painting there's always going to be some light. Even the blacks have colour in them. And here I'm adding highlights. So I was working initially on just covering the canvas. Then I started putting in my darks, the purples, and now I'm bringing in the, the highlights, bringing, lightening up certain areas of it. And sometimes I go back and forward with that. I may put in too much brightness. So here, this is getting very, very bright. And obviously that field is not that pale, yellowy, you know, it's almost creamy color that I've put in. But it will allow me to come back in with the green in a little while and that green will really pop because I put that white, a very pale colour down underneath it. And here bringing the highlights into those trees as well. And adding, I'm just adding the greens in now. And again, you know, adding some more purple into that area, which has a lot of heather above the trees. And I'll come back at the end and I'll add in some rocks. The finer details, the small details don't need to come in at this point of the painting, because if you start committing, there are two little um, bullocks that I'm going to put in um, on that bottom field and some stones and some finer details, but there's no point in me working on the finer details right now until I'm coming to the more the very end of the painting. So yeah, you just take a general approach and just keeping it loose, keeping the brush marks loose. As, as I went on, I have my brush size has decreased. So I'm back in now again with some darks darkening that line of trees in the background. And I'm, I'm coming in with more detail now. Smaller, more detailed highlights. And Really, I was really focusing on bringing in as much colour as I could into this painting. I'm going to let the video run on now. I think I have uh, spoken a good bit about it. And you'll see just there, adding in the details of the trees. Oh, I'm taking some blues now. Because that those blues are not just in the skies, they're reflecting on the, the trees as well. So yeah, just toing and froing with a few more details here at the end of the painting. I hope um, that you got some value, that you enjoyed this painting today. 
please subscribe if you're getting value out of it and I'll talk to you the next time. I'm just letting the video run on to the end so please watch it just to see the final details of the animals going in now and, uh, and watch it to the end and see how it finishes up. So thanks for watching. God bless and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.